This recording is sponsored by football. In it, bruv, you better fast advance that though. What's it still doing here? I can't even do this now. <laughs> In today's city location, aggression. What I mean is aggression of cards. This is a basic tips episode. Now, I obviously use Shapers. Shapers are one of the few faction, factions that are that tend to be actively passive. The only aggressive thing they do is access more of your cards. Multi-accessing cards is the Shaper form of aggression. Destroying cards is the Anarch form of aggression. And while well, disrupting, disrupting corp, corp activities would be a criminal way of disrupting things, like making you lose credits. But there does tend to be some crossover with um, Anarch and uh, Criminal. Now, the Shaper way of doing things, the uh, Shaper way of aggression is great if you have the ability to do it. Um, if you uh, if you remember the um, deck Prepaid Kate, some of the new newer people will not know what Prepaid Kate is. But if you have a look at, up, that was one of the original broken decks, overly powerful decks that deck so powerful that the most wanted list was created because of well because of it effectively. Give forty plus credits, you'd be able to run multiple times a turn. You could burst up from zero with pretty much no issue whatsoever, and that was extremely powerful. And the aggression that it could that the aggression that that deck had was phenomenal. It was from from turn three, sometimes even earlier, but from turn three. It was able to go on the attack and it would constantly access and multi access your cards and there was no, it would have it would have pretty much all the answers so if we look at what my aggression is here i'm trying to run bag hat and it was kind of funny i will admit it was funny it was nice just to like just just to be able to access an extra card or there'd be a reason to run archives beyond their control um, I've, I've, stopped, I've taken out the diesels and replaced them with um, Sports Hopper because again it, it adds protection and I can use it for draw and I've got Link. So it's like a triple threat there. It does, it does something there. I may have to put back in Underworld Contacts, but you'll, you'll, they'll, they'll go in, I'll go into that later. Imp. Imp is an MVP. It just, it, it's really disruptive. If they got Scorched in hand, you can get rid of it. If they got Mitzies in hand, you can get rid of it. Sometimes I won't even need to use... Um, the sports hopper but if they're holding on to it i can get rid of it um now the real jank here is the ankusa okay and paintbrush as soon as i saw this i just wanted to give it a try it's expensive as hell but it does disrupt the corp and now shapers this is like the, this is like the first time i've seen shaper be truly disruptive in their own way and i think it's closer to criminal but it's the, the difference is, is that it's much more consistent um, criminal disruption tends to be a flash in the pan. Oh yeah, you've lost ten credits. I've gained ten credits. Oh look, I've shut down your most. Ex I've shut down your expensive ice. Oh look, I'm bypassing your ice. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. So when I combine it with the Ankusa and the paintbrush, I can just open up. Our, I can open up HQ. Keep on doing this, and then sometimes you can even up, open up R and D. And I just tend to leave the remotes alone because if they're going to score out, they're going to score out. It doesn't work so well against NEH because, um, again, they don't tend to care, but I can sometimes access the cards before they get the chance to, to score them, sometimes. So, the, the main issue is it takes so long to set up, but once I'm set up, I'm, I'm gone, I'm, I'm going, and, and you'll see that in the games I'm about, in the games I'll post up later on. Um, yeah, I need, I mean, Shaper needs more cards like this. I mean, they need more disruption because without getting to prepaid Kate strength levels, I don't see the efficiency. Well, at least in exile, at least in exile's case, I don't see the efficiency I can gain because I can gain a lot of money with this, but I end up spending so much clicks to gain that money, and there's nothing for me to do with that money. 
and if I try to multi-access, I can only multi-access two or three times. So like I build up a turn, build up a turn, build up a turn, and then I can access maybe six times. And but again, it's all in the late game, and that's a, that's a real issue for me. So, so yeah, if if that if that's going to happen, at least make it inevitable, because I think Shaper should be the inevitable faction. But it's just just, just too difficult to it's very difficult to maintain. But I've tried playing these all together, and I'm going to show you some games where that's done. Um, that's going to be coming up, and I just want to talk about this for a while. Now. Bag Hat by itself in Shaper does does nothing. I played it for just for giggles, really, and it was it was fun. It was it was really nice because um, again, Imp by itself running to Imp stuff out of HQ, that that's nice, but it doesn't disrupt enough. But if I use this combined with it, people start to actually get a bit weary about it. I mean, it's not really doing that much damage, um, but people don't really don't like it and then when i start getting rid of the ice on hq yeah they start putting stuff in the remote maybe not focusing on r&d as much yeah if we're gonna have more cards like more cards like this um i want shaper to be the inevitable faction if you leave them too long then they're gonna drag the game out and then you're definitely gonna lose i mean i, li I like that concept i mean criminal's supposed to go in there quickly Go, do it, great, done. Anarch, maybe just um, more about the mid game. I want Shaper to be about the late game. But of course, there's often no time for the late game nowadays. Anyway, if you've seen my basic tips video, you'd know about like about aggressive openings. So, oh, now I get the money. Oh, now it's money. See, look, nothing but money now. An agenda, yeah, money and agenda, yeah. This deck is terrible. I need to rebuild it. <laughs> well, you'll see it being played later on. You know what? It's funny. I'll keep it. So let's just make this a really aggressive turn, shall we? See, corporate aggression is kind of different from criminal aggression. Corporate aggression might be to rush out an agenda. So this is that. See, that would be an aggressive move from a corporation because you got something there you can but it leaves you open to counter-attack what do you do well see the thing is i'd like to go get the imp now kind of see because here's here's how aggression works so pay four and bring out the imp so click one install Click two, gain a credit. Click three, Dirty Laundry HQ. Imp it. It's gone. See? Counter-attack. See that? Imp it. It's gone. And still got a click left for a card. Interesting. Can use that next turn. Corporate. See? Click one, draw a card. Click two, draw a card. Click three, install. I think do it about to run it. Click run. You know what? Take the tag. Just continue on the continue on the aggressive front. Score. If you want to be nuts, you can go again. But the tag install because that's now just being defensive again. So sell it, and you can keep keep on attacking. So what was the whole point of this malarkey here I just gave you? Besides showing you how bad my custom Botics deck is. The whole point here is that aggression, you just go attack, attack, attack. But being passive means you have to set up. Like, for example, I have to 
I have to set my money engine, set my dinosaur so I can put my mimic on it, set my cards so I can draw, set up so I can access cards safely, set up so I can get money for drawing cards. Yeah, exactly. Set up this so I can get money from stalling cards. Set up, put this down so I can get an extra click. Then I have to set up my money engine. There's some more set up so I can make, make sure my hand's okay so I can install this and get my front set up this so I can multi access up this so I can be more aggressive. Set up this so I can access a certain way. Set up the same old thing so I can levy. And I've set up this so I can be more aggressive. Again, it's all late game stuff. It's nothing I can do right off there, but it's something I can do consistently once it's set up. Getting money is very is a very aggressive thing to do. If you don't have money, you can't really do else. You're not really that threatening. Corporation of money is extremely threatening. Getting corporation with tags is extremely threatening. Yeah, again, a corporation that knows what you're doing, extremely threatening. But again, this deck lacks economy. As you, as you see, it lacks economy. And so that's the thing you need to think about. How aggressive are you? How often is it beneficial for you to run at the corporation? When you're a shaper, it's like how much time cards can you access? When you're a criminal, um, how much money and data suckers are you going to get for running? When you're an anarch, what are you going to blow up now? What are you going to kill now? That's the. That's what you're going to be thinking about when you're running. As a corporation, how much money, and how much money in defense is this action going to get me? How much easy is it going to be to fast advance? How much more can you lock out the runner by doing this action? And that's what you have to think about. Well, I don't tend to think about it, but that's what my decks are the way they are.